Today we are going to be talking about REPL console in Node.js. So this is a very important topic. Interestingly, it's very simple to understand. So this is going to be a very short uh, video lesson. So again, I remind you to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment if there has been something informative for you. What is REPL? This question you are going to encounter it in any quiz of Node.js. REPL stands for read, uh, eval, read, eval, print, and loop. So these are the four things uh, as you can see. Remember, this is a procedure-based uh, lesson. So if you miss out something, you have the explanation right here in my website. Also in the description box, you'll see this lesson, this particular lesson corresponding to this video you are listening to. So the REPL console is more like the DOS prompt or command prompt or shell prompt. So when you go to your system and type CMD, CMD uh, command prompt, it opens up. And let's say you say three plus five, it doesn't work. So, but at least you can do some command. Let's say DIR, or you can say CD, blah, blah, blah and so on and so forth. So, in case of uh, another JS, it provides an option to use the command prompt. So, and the command prompt is actually called REPL console. So it's not really the normal command prompt, but it's, it gives you a prompt to also write program. You do the same thing you are going to be doing when you are writing script. So, remember you can use CLS to clear your screens, All right? So, Let's see how it works. So take some time to read this and basically it's something easy. Read, you read an input from the user. Eval, you evaluate the, the input. Print, you print out the result of the output and, the, and loop, you loop through uh, these three items until the user presses Control C on the console, all right? So how do you start this console to start working? So to start this console, you simply say node. So when you say node, it, sim it simply enters into the REPL console mode, so the REPL interactive terminal or mode. So now you can easily write anything you want. So write any any prompt, any command you want. For instance, you can just say eight plus four, and it does the calculation for you too, and so on and so forth. So you can enter simple expressions, complex ones. So for instance, I can just, instead of typing it out, I can just copy this and just paste it there and also run it and it gives me the answer. So you can now write your scripts in the interactive mode in Node.js. It's very handy because it can be used to solve problems or do debugging. If you also do console.log, you know, some console.log, it actually also works exactly the same way it's going to work when you are using the node.js uh, the node.js script so you can see it says hello world so basically that is much uh, the much you can you, you, we can know about uh, the REPL console you can also write multi line statement for instance we want to write a loop that prints out the numbers from 1 to 5 so you can just say variable a is equal to 0 Then we say while, I'll use a while loop. While a is less than five. Mm -hmm. So once I start writing this loop, it immediately adds the, immediately adds these three dots. I think it's called ellipsis, I don't know. Because it recognizes I'm trying to write a multi-line statement. So at this point I can say a plus plus, uh, semicolon, and then I can say console, that log I can say a equals plus and then I can now put the value of a and then when I close the I close the loop it will exit from it will exit from the from the loop or from the multi-line statement and displays the result for us on the output. So that is about it. So I also have the underscore variable you use the underscore variable to get the the last item that was used. So if you stick, for instance, let me let me just shift this a little bit. Shift a little bit, of course. Okay, so let's see. Let's say we have um, a is equal to five. 
Mm -hmm. So when I use the underscore, you can see it displays 5. So underscore displays 5. So underscore gets the last item or the last variable that was used. These are the following commands that you can use in the Arab EPL console. We have control C, control C twice. Control C ends the current command. Control C twice uh, exits the node.js terminal. So if I use control C two times, control C, control C, now it goes away or out from the node.js uh, Arab EPL console. Let me clear my screen. So we have save. Uh, file name set the current console section to a file, right? So, so these are basically what you can do with Node.js uh, REPL console. I'm going to stop here and also like to recommend you take some time to go through it. Now, this is not a critical part of Node.js you need to know, but this is something you need to have as a Node.js uh, programmer. You need to know about the REPL console. So remember uh, to subscribe and also like this video. Or leave a comment for me if it's been informative for you.